Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to BYB Tactical and today we're going to talk about Works Holsters. Now, I already did a review on Works Holsters before, which was this specific one. Um, there was a few problems that I had with this one. Um, Works Holsters saw the video, um, they actually corrected me. So I actually had the wrong holster in terms of for the P320 and the light combination that I had. So they sent me the correct one, which was, um, if you don't remember, it was the P320 with the PL Mini Valkyrie 2. Um, so they sent me the correct holster for the P320 that I have, which is the full size, which honestly doesn't matter because in the last video, like I mentioned before, Works holsters fit all sizes. It could be full, uh, full size, compact, self-compact, it fits all of them. So anyways, let me show you the problems I had before. So the problems I had before, um, which by the way, before anything, we are being gun safe. There's no magazine, nothing is chambered. So the problems I had before was in the last holster, which was this one, it had a little bit of play. See that? There's a little bit of play. So then I figured, I was like, maybe I, you know, I really didn't think twice about it. I placed an order. Um, and then I just got it because I was like, you know, I needed one for my light combination. Turns out I ordered a holster for the mini, but it wasn't for the PL mini. It was for the Boulder mini, uh, which is the one that Olay offers with the laser on it. So anyways, works holster, saw the video. And like I mentioned before, they sent me the correct one. Um, again, it was my fault. So it's kind of an embarrassing moment for me, but you know what? I'll admit it. I ordered the wrong one. So they sent me the right one free of charge, which you know, not many companies would do that. Not even many companies would show interest in terms of like, um, you know, videos and whatnot. So the fact that they saw it and they sent me a new one to con so it, it could accommodate the last one and they didn't even ask for the other one back or anything like that. You guys earned yourself a customer forever, um, especially when it comes to Olight products. I like Olight products and the fact that most of the holsters that they offer is directed more so towards Olight. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm stick with them for a long time. But let me show you the now updated holster, which was the correct one that they sent me, um, which is with the PL Mini Valkyrie 2. So no more of that plate. No more of that plate. And you know what? They, they, I, I want to say this is good. This is a good holster now. <laughs> it's always been a good holster, but the only issues I had was with that one, uh, which that it was there was play in it. And you know what, now it makes sense why there was play before. I had the wrong holster all along. However, since they did send me the new holster that matched the PL Mini Valkyrie 2 with the P320, like I said, full size, comp compact or subcompact, I still had the other holster, which was for the, again, P320 uh, with the Boulder Mini, which is the one with the light and the laser. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna buy that Olight then. Let's do another review on another one of holsters for another light bearing. So I went ahead, I took full advantage of the sale that they had going on for Black Friday, Black Friday uh, for Olight, and I bought the Boulder Mini, which like I mentioned before, it has a light and it has a laser, and you can have them both on command. I am gonna do a review on it, um, but just so you kind of have an idea, so if you're ever looking at Olights, right, and you're trying to see what's the difference between the two and whatnot, obviously the features, but I always thought that the PL Mini Valkyrie 2 and the Boulder Mini were the same size. And, you know, they just looked alike on the picture. I really didn't get into detail and in the dimensions and whatnot. It was, I will say it was definitely like an impulse buy. I wanted a lie and I was just getting into it. But so look at the difference on the two. Do you see how the height of the Boulder Mini is slightly bigger? I don't know the exact measurement, but it is bigger and it does make a difference. So let me show you how that looks now. So in the old holster that I had, which was this one that I was using for the PL Mini Valkyrie 2, and it was the wrong holster for the wrong light combination. Let's look at it now with the Boulder Mini and how it fits. And of course, it fits like a glove. There is no play. Do you see that? I'm trying to rip it off. There is no play there. It has the same features where um, it is light char. It's a uh, sorry magnetic charging, so you just got to plug it in, throw like the the cord in there, and automatically magnetizes over to the charger. That's the one thing like I mentioned before that I like about O lights is that that it's it's a very uh, it's not like I don't want to say tactical. I hate that word because everyone uses it now. Like oh, it's tactical this, tactical that. It's like I get to 
throw a freaking tactical sticker on a water bottle and call it a tactical water bottle. So I hate that terminology. However, it's more of like a consumer base, like in terms of, you know, if you're putting your gun on a nightstand and stuff like that, you could throw the cord on there. If you have it on your nightstand with your phone charger or something like that, you throw it on there, good to go. There's no issues when you want to draw, like I showed in the other video, check that out. I really jump, I really did jump in debt with the holster and how it works um, in terms of this. Now I want to jump, jump on and talk about something else today. So I mentioned before I wasn't a fan of the claw, which was this. So this is the old holster that I have. This is the new holster. At this point, it doesn't even matter. There's, there's the, kind of the same holsters, just different light bearings. So like I said, you can check out my last video that I did on the PL Mini Valkyrie 2 and just know the fit on the PL Mini Valkyrie 2 that I mentioned in the past video was completely wrong. It fits like a glove now. There's absolutely no play on it. It is stiff. It feels great. Um, it definitely hugs your firearm in terms of like it's molded perfectly for that fit. So just pay attention to when you're ordering it. Make sure you're getting the right one with the right like combination. But let's jump again on the concealability of it. So the issue that I had before, not an issue, but I didn't really like it was the claw, which was that right there, if you can't see it. So that, so it goes in your pants, you know, cause these are in waistband holsters. It goes in your pants and it kind of just feels weird. So I took it off. I've been rocking the clawless for about, uh, I wanna say a week and a half now, since the last video actually I took it off. So it's been like a week and um, I like it. So, but the only thing that I would recommend is if you are gonna do it without the claw, you need to understand you are using a light now with this holster. The claw makes it more concealable by itself. But if you are gonna go clawless, so take out the claw like I have right here, and if you're gonna go solo with just that, I would highly not recommend it. Not because it doesn't fit right or anything like that, it fits great. The only problem is you're, well for like my full size firearm, I'm, I'm not gonna talk about all fire, let me talk about just my experience with my full size P320. I don't know if you notice, I have the magwell at the end of it like that. You see, so it's pretty, it's a pretty fat grip because I have fatter fingers, I have a fatter hand. So I like to, you know, get it really good. But when I conceal it, when it's alone, it kind of is flapping out like that on my shirt. So it's, it's printing and it's printing really good to where you can see it. Not that I give a shit. If somebody saw that I was concealing, carrying, it doesn't matter because the law here in Illinois, at least, is, you know, as long as 70% of your firearm is concealed, there's no issues. Um, and even then, non-gun users are really not gonna know what a gun user conceals. They're not gonna, they're not gonna understand how it works or how it would look or how it conceals. So it's a new world to them. I am gonna recommend though. So like I said, if you are gonna do clawless, I don't recommend it if you're doing it solo and this is just my opinion, I would do it with the holster um, attachment. And the reason why, let me show you, which by the way, I also did mention last video about how I like to carry my bullets like that, um, and I was having a problem with the holster. So Works Holster did comment on my last video, pretty much told me like this is you know brand standard, which it is, it really is, like every other holster does have their bullets uh, for like this, so it fits like that. And you, the way they show you draw is you use your index and you go in and you go. But you know, each to their own, a tower you've been practicing already for a while. I personally like the other way, but again, they're absolutely right. It is a brand standard. I'm gonna step back a little bit. Let's see if I could bring down the camera a little bit. Bear with me. So I have the holster on right now. Um, I have it without the claw, and just because with the claw and the holster combo, it stands out a little bit too much, like too bulky. It kind of looks like I have a lot of, uh, what is it called, bottom fat, <laughs> like towards that area. I don't, I don't want to say it, but you know what I mean? So it just didn't look good and didn't feel comfortable either. But without the claw and with the holster attachment, it fits great now. I mean, it feels great. Um, it's super efficient, you know? It's super good, so that's only that's what I would recommend if you are gonna carry um, without the claw, so clawless, carry with the holster attachment. It definitely makes a big difference. I'm gonna bring this back up. Definitely makes a difference. So yeah, again, Works Holsters did a fantastic job 
with this holster in general and the fact that they are kind of like bending to like the old light combination because like i mentioned before the big ones are like the surefires or the tlrs and the fact that works holsters is really trying to make a splash in the water i guess with their holsters for olight products is great and the fact that i don't think you really understand how innovative this is the fact that you can fit both or three the full size compact and subcompact p320 in the same holster is super innovative i don't care how are you painted that's a big deal because usually you know P320s are starting to become that very popular model now. Everyone's starting to have it. It's like, you know, it is more expensive than the uh, Glock 19, but it's starting to become like one of those customizable firearms in the market now. And everyone now, not just everyone buys one, but most people I know that have bought the P320 by a second or a third, or they buy the Legion P320. So it's starting to become, again, that very customizable firearm in the market. Um, it's not starting, it's been for a while. But I think a lot of companies are starting to pump out a lot of features, a lot of upgrades, a lot of mods for the P320. And like I said, super innovative from Works Holsters at the fact that not only can you fit your full size, and I don't know if you see how that extra like, I would call it like half inch sticks out. So not only does your full size, but also a compact and a subcompact fits in the same holster. Now, like I said, might not be a big deal, but if you're in the gun world, you know what I'm talking about super hard to find something like that um and here's another thing to think about if you're into competition shooting i haven't tried it but in terms of like getting a compensation at the very end now if you know what a compensator is uh so not compensation a compensator but if you know what a compensator is it's pretty much something that you can put at the end of your barrel which if you got a longer barrel a threaded one you put a compensator at the end and what it does is when you shoot it directs the gases away so therefore when you shoot, boom, like that, and instead of like regularly your firearm going back and jerking, the gas is being spread out like that, makes it go flat. So it makes it go flat and go back, flat, you know. It's kinda hard to show that. I am planning on doing this with this firearm, so maybe down the line, if I do that, then I'll put a video. But like I was getting back to that, is if you had a compensator at the end, which added maybe another inch two inch i don't think two inches but you know what i mean like if you had a bigger one it would fit there in terms of if long as it kind of like was um not flat but kind of faced with the firearm it fits in this holster do you see what i mean like it the firearm goes through the holsters there's nothing stopping it or making it you know you have to, oh it can only go this long so that's what i'm saying this is super innovative and p320 is starting to become the big contender for competition shooting, especially the Legion series. I mean, and you know, like I said, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you look into this kind of stuff. I mean, it's starting to come a come along with P320, but that's pretty much it, guys. I know I went on a little bit, but these are works holsters. Um, let's talk about pricing again, as far as how much they cost. So the holster, if I'm not mistaken, was $60. The mag holder was 30 bucks. So in total for this rig right here was $90. Not bad, not bad at all. I think it's a huge bang for your buck. And uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Please, before you go, like and subscribe and hit the bell at the bottom so you get notifications for future videos. And until next time, guys.